What's going on YouTube, back at you again with another video. I know it's been a while, but um, I said I'd do a part 3 to my Jack Chan DVD collection since it's uh, been uh, updated for a while. Uh, I decided to just uh, hold off on the Jack Chan uh, DVD collection for a while because um, you know, I was trying to get more stuff and uh, fortunately I did. And um, yeah, it's uh, really awesome and I just had to share with you all. And um, yeah, so let's get started. This is um, one of his earlier works, so you might not be familiar with this one. Uh, but this is a double feature of Shylon Woodman and To Kill with Intrigue. Uh, I have never seen either one of these films, but um, I heard that Shylon Woodman is a very good one, so I'm definitely going to watch these, uh, hopefully this weekend for sure. Uh, if not, probably like before or after, but um, yeah, here's the front, here's the side. And uh, here's the back, and uh, this is put out by uh, Timeless Media Group, also put out by Shout Factory, a very good company, by the way. And these two movies are dubbed in English, it says on the back. Um, should say, like, right there. Um, is that what it says? It? Um, yeah, oh, well, actually, it says it, like, right there, dubbed in, Eng dubbed in English. I don't know if you can see it, but <clears throat> yeah, so hopefully uh, these movies are really good, and I'll show you the inside, here's the disc, and um, yeah, so uh, these ones should be good, let me know in the comments below if they're very, very good or not, and uh, next up we have uh, one that I bought not too long ago, um, this is another double feature, this is with uh, Battle Creek Brawl and City Hunter, City Hunter I've seen before, and I love that one. Uh, Battle Creek Brawl I have not seen, but I really want to see it. Um, this is also put out by Shout Factory. This is like the one um, that I showed you in my uh, previous videos of, uh, well, well not uh, previous, but um, uh, back on the fall, I believe. Uh, this was uh, the Jack Chan collection. I think it was like, yeah, it was like part two. Um, at the Police Story, two-pack is like the same as this, except like, you know, it's uh, different movies, obviously, but yeah, and... Um, Here's the back, it tells you all, all about the movies, a lot of special features. Here's the disc, put on one disc, and very neat artwork on the background. So yeah, um, definitely uh, looking forward to watching this one. Should be good, let me know in the comments below if it's really good. And another double feature, same as the one I just showed you, uh, this is with uh, The Protector and Crime Story. Uh, both really, really great movies, uh, I like these ones a lot. Uh, I think that uh, The Protector was one of his like first um, American movies that he's ever done. Uh, this one actually takes place in New York, so I think this is the one that actually took place in America um, for like the first time, like when he actually made a film. I think that was like uh, his American debut for like a film, I believe. And Crime Story is a pretty good one too. And this one also came out in the U.S. too in theaters as a, um, a re-release in '96. Uh, it was originally made in 1993. Well, actually, it released in 1993, but uh, it was um, put in theaters again in the U.S. for 1996. So, um, yeah, uh, it's a very, very good set and uh, the disc and uh, neat artwork in the background and uh, the back. Uh, these ones um, right here, these ones you can buy on Blu-ray too. So um, be aware of that. I'm gonna get them on Blu-ray eventually someday, and. Uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, Shanghai Nights, the sequel of Shanghai Noon, which I did um, show in the uh, collection of uh, Jack Chan uh, Part 2, I believe. And uh, yeah, so this is the second one. I got a, I got off of uh, Amazon for like five bucks, so uh, you can't beat that. Um, very good sequel to the original, and there's also a third one in the works coming out next year, Shanghai Dawn. It should be awesome. Uh, these two guys are returning and coming back and kicking some butt once again, and you know, you just can't go wrong with that. And uh, here's the back, and um, here's the disc. It's pretty much the same as the front, but the disc is pretty cool. And uh, uh, the action is uh, really, really good in this. And this is the remake of Police Story, uh, called New Police Story. Um, it's not like, um, the original Police Story, I mean, like, it does, like, involve, like, the police, obviously, but, uh, uh this actually, like, is about, like, a completely different story, which is good, and, um, it's just, like, uh, very dark and gritty, and I like it how, like, the... Uh, series had like a dark undertone like after Jack Chan's first strike came out. Uh, this one came out in 2004, I believe. Yep, 2004. 
And um, this was like years later after First Strike, and uh, 19 years, I think, after, yeah, 19 years after the original was made. So, yeah, um, it's a really, really good remake. Um, it was pretty good how they didn't try to, like, uh, compare to the original. But, um, yeah, it, it was a really, really good remake. I really enjoyed this one a lot. And a uh, nice uh, dark undertone uh, to it, uh, very emotional. Um, and, you know, just uh, everything about this one is amazing. And I got this at a used video store, Movie Stop in Florida. Um, see, I bought it used, but um, this used copy is actually uh, taken care of perfectly. It looked like that no one like even like even like uh, like even like watched it basically. And uh, here's the disc. And yes, it's from originally a blockbuster. Um, and uh, yeah, and the the uh, back is uh, pretty neat. I got a lot of cool special features. And you know everything like that, and um, you know just great action sequences. Definitely recommend it if you like the original Blue Story. <clears throat> and one of his newer ones, uh, Dragon Blade, recently bought this one a couple days ago. Um, I bought this uh, the other day, and uh, it was uh, it was at the five dollar bin at my local Walmart. So if your local Walmart carries this, I highly recommend you guys pick it up. Um, this one came out in 2015. This one also has uh, not only Jackie Chan, but Adrian Brody and John Cusack. Uh, very interesting cast, and uh, surprisingly, um, Adrian Brody plays a villain in this one. Usually he plays, like, a, a good guy, but in this one he plays a really, really bad guy. And then, um, you know, just great action sequences, and, you know, it's just great. And, um, yeah, here's the front side. Here's the back. It comes with the, um, a digital copy, but I'm giving that away, so, um... If you wanted to message me about that, I'm sorry, but I'm giving it to somebody else. And uh, here's a disc right here, and this is also on Blu-ray 2, I believe. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really good watch. Highly, highly, highly recommend this one. So that is pretty much it for my Jack Chan Collection Part 3. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, and sometime in the future, uh, I actually have no idea how long it's going to be, but there's going to be a Jack Chan DVD Collection Part 4, because, you know, I love Jack Chan. He's my uh, childhood life, basically. Uh, he pretty much changed my life, and I'm glad to say that about him. And, um, yeah, it's just uh, really, really great movies I have of him. And so, uh, when I get a lot more of his movies, I'll be doing a Part 4. Like I said before, I don't know when that's going to be, but hopefully pretty soon. But yeah, thank you for watching and subscribing, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.